It usually takes me a really long time to get out of bed in the morning. I'll just lay here for hours. I usually require like a lot of motivation. Like some, I need, I need a motivator. I guess that's pretty normal, but like I need a, I need a big one. Motivators include a great cup of warm liquid that I know I'll just really enjoy. And I have to tell my, you're gonna really enjoy this. Hey, you should get out of bed because there's something waiting for you that you're gonna digest that's gonna be really top notch. That's a good motivator. Sometimes not good enough. Uh, better ones are, hey, you could die in this bed. Um, even better ones are, what, uh, what if, what if you interact with a celebrity on Twitter today? Which you can do from the comfort of your bed. So usually that one doesn't help, actually. Yeah, it's usually like the die, uh, the dying. I don't want to die here, so. Um, then I'll usually get out of bed after I tell myself that I can easily die here. Um, of course, as we all know, we can die anywhere. We can die anywhere. Death is inevitable. And this bed is warm. Also, usually if it's a really sunny day, I'll be like, hell yeah, I'm gonna go and get that sun because I need it and I'll be rejuvenated. But today, she's gloomy. So, I'm gonna need to bring out the big guns. Which is the fear of death topped with the fear of failure and never achieving my goals and having nothing to brag about my 10 year high school reunion. Let's go! me uh, wake up and see the world through rose scented spray happier after that just put on your current favorite song and you'll be fine one, one, one. tricks me into a false sense of accomplishment than a morning errand and a hot matcha latte. My roommate, I don't know if you can hear that, but my roommate's having a shower right now. That's something else I can add to my list. Um, don't say yes, don't agree with me. But you know, it's small things, like doing small tasks throughout the day, especially since I don't have a nine to five job. That I can go to to preoccupy my mind and the darkness that dwells within. I used to hate showering, but I look forward to showering now because it gives me something to check off my list for the day. Uh, I know a lot of what I've been saying has been said with a sarcastic tone because I use humor as a defense mechanism to cover up the fact that I do struggle with seasonal depression now and then. And if you really wanna know, it's just like little things that I do throughout the day that make me happy. <laughs> like going on walks and listening to my favorite music and drinking matcha lattes and buying new furniture to make it look like I have my shit together. Make it, not make it look like, make it feel like. Cause I don't really care what it looks like to people. I care what it feels like to me. One of those small things that makes me really happy is Halo Scope. You really gotta get it where you can. Hello, looking dewy. Doesn't look like it's clearing up anytime soon. I guess the weatherman lied, but like all men, do we expect anything else? I'm kidding. Look at the outside. It really is kind of, there's a fog descending on all of us. I'm gonna go on my walk anyway, because I really didn't get it in when I was, I didn't get it in when I was going for my almond milk. That feeling when you don't get it in at the grocery store. Ugh, hate that. So I'm gonna do the walk now. Guys, follow me on Spotify for great playlists and my artist profile and listen to my music. You know what would make me really happy would totally cure my seasonal depression is if you bought and supported my music. Thank you. I'll do something really crazy just to spice it up. Thanks for watching.